Oh, hello community, it's Pablo Vasquez. You know what's not new in Blender is cycles. It's been around for many, many years. But you know what's, what is new? It's how fast you're gonna be able to render now using CPU. Yeah, it's not, it's not all GPU nowadays. This one is for our CPU friends. This is going to speed up a lot. So basically the feature is enable Embry by default for CPU rendering. What does it mean? It means faster rendering, especially when using motion blur. So here, uh, Intel Embry is the library that, it was, that is being used right now for, uh, for this uh, improvement in speed. And you're going to see here some numbers that uh, may not look very impressive in some cases, like, okay, five minute, eight to almost five minutes. Okay, a few seconds, few seconds, and then bam, you're going to see some cases like this one. Agent 327, you know Agent 327 is the short film that we worked on in the, uh, the Blender Animation Studio many years ago. And well, we were making it, when we were rendering, we were even considering not having motion blur at some point because of how slow it was, especially with these uh, with these uh, close-ups and a lot of hair and the characters, they all have like fur and hair and the motion blur was just so slow. And at some point it managed to be as uh, fast as one hour, maybe two, three hours per frame. That's okay, but even then it was too much. <laughs> If we were using, if we had Embry back then, this improvement that was just added to cycles now, we would be talking about instead of 54 minutes per frame, five minutes per frame, five minutes per frame, nothing compared to what it used to be. It's just, just crazy. In some cases, Victor, the character from Com Cosmos Laundromat also has a lot of hair and it went from uh, 11 um, and a half minutes to almost nine minutes, so really, really nice. Koro, the character, the, the llama from Caminandes, has a lot of fur and transparent hair. It went from four, four minutes 20 to three minutes 20 almost, so one minute less. That is a huge, huge, huge speed up. There is a few differences in memory. Sometimes it's lower, for example, here it went from 500 megs to 400 megs, so that's that's uh, nice. And in some cases it, it goes up from two gigs here to 2.6 gig so it, it depends on the scene but overall is a huge huge improvement there's also some changes in the way that uh, cycles renders hair so if you read out the logs you're gonna see that there is here a change that says uh, always perform backspace calling for curve remove the option the bug fix scaling, this option now has been removed because uh, it was used, it was assumed by the hair BSDF, the one you use for, for like making nice hairdos. Uh, it's been, um, it's assuming that the bug fix scaling was there. So uh, it could give errors if you didn't have that, um, if you didn't set that. Now it's gone because it's assumed, it's always there. And also two options are gone, the rendering hair as triangle and lines. Why? Because now it's uh, much more simple. You're gonna see here that it's, if you want a fast hair that renders something that renders fast and maybe you see it from far away, you can use the rounded ribbon uh, option where it's gonna give you a flat, um, like a, a flat hair with fake rounded normal. So from a distance, it looks fine. The 3D curve option is gonna give you the actual geometry. Like you can zoom in into that one hair strand and see it very nice, especially also if you if you light it from the back, you're gonna see a nice rim light. So that's when you should use 3D curve. So now these two options, all you need, and it should be, uh, should be good to go. But you know what? There is even more improvements regarding um, GPU and CPU. So GPU, this one is also pretty neat. Is uh, when you're rendering with uh, GPU, CUDA, and Optics. Uh, now you can, if your GPUs are connected with NV Link Bridge, they will share the memory. So now, if you have a, a graphics card with 12 and the other one with 12, you now have 24 um, gigs of RAM, VRAM, available for your scenes, and for those rendering it CPU, I say the best news for the end is that now you can render in the viewport with the noising. Yes, remember that feature that was added for 2.83, uh, the, the optics denoising in the viewport, it was pretty amazing, but it's only for C uh, GPU graphics cards uh, that support optics. Not anymore. 
this uh, option of viewport denoising is available on CPU as well. So it's using the, op uh, the open image denoising that is also available for rendering. And here, let's let's go for example over here. So you gotta wait for like maybe how many samples? 12, tw 20 samples to see it a bit noise free, 30 samples maybe. Not anymore. So the enable from the sampling panel denoising, viewport denoising. Turn it on, one, two, bam, it's gone. What, what, am I cheating? One, two, bam. It, I, I'm, look, ma, no hands. It's just, <laughs> it's just awesome. It just works. And it's CPU, so it works everywhere. It's, it's supported by everything. It's just, just amazing. You can turn it on here. You can choose optics, of course, but you can uh, just set it from here, from the viewport. And for rendering, you also have the regular one and optics. But isn't this just crazy? This is gonna change the way you light scenes. I, I've been using the viewport denoising for, for a while with lighting my scenes and it's just... It, it just gives you so much freedom. You, you get a preview. Uh, of course, gonna be a bit blotchy uh, until you get enough samples to like see some specific bump for example um, but it still is it's gonna change the way you light your scenes because you in just a few seconds you or even less you can just have a preview of how your scene looks so really really good reason to go into blender.org slash experimental get the latest build tried tested if you have any bugs please report them gonna leave a link here to report the bug but yeah just just en enjoy just just good news share the news yes make people know about it especially your friends that didn't have a, a gpu capable of using uh, the viewport denoising for example now you can with cpu so it works everywhere out of the box for free and open source Share the news. See you in the next video. Bye.